What a nice day. Let's check out our dear nations, starting with Asia. Uh, we must start with Europe first. Welcome to Europe. It's a good day. French Revolution, one of the bloodiest revolution in human history. And the Corsican guy is helping, Napoleon Bonaparte. But at first he thought the revolution didn't have to do anything with him. What can I do in this revolution? You can rise in ranks. Say no more. I mean, at Toulon, he defeated the British while fighting for the revolution. Napoleon raised in rank two major generals. While France is having the revolution, tensions in Europe started to rise. Dude, what's wrong with you? Do you even know how your revolution can affect us? All of us? You never heard of it, right? I declare war. Well, France declared war on literally everyone. France did make progress and captured now known Netherlands and established Batavian Republic. And on the other hand, three French armies were ready to encounter coalition forces. As expected, Austrians are good at battle. How's General Bonaparte doing? He defeated the Austrian sire. In the south, Napoleon was doing massive progress. First, he defeated Sardinia. Then he chased the Austrians and defeated them at Lodi. Just suffering 1,000 troops. Austria, you can win this. Napoleon chased him to Vienna and the Austrians sued for peace. Go and take control over Egypt. The government sent Napoleon to Egypt. I don't like desert that much. Why there's boss music? What's the report? Admiral Nelson destroyed our ships. Repeat that again. British Admiral Nelson did. Want some help? Oh, okay. Anglo Ottoman force defeated Napoleon and Acre. Look, the British. But there is no one. Sir? Let's see what's happening in Europe. Guys, can I join? You guys again. Russia? The Russian Empire joined the second coalition and they did kick them to the original border. But Russia pulled out after the second battle of Zurich. Well that was close. Hey! General! Napoleon got the reserve troops. Come fight us. No. Fight us then. No. Don't take my supply line. The Austrians charged towards Napoleon. They did defeat the outnumbered French army. But Napoleon arrived with a larger army. And he kicked them right back. And in north, French General Moreau defeated the Austrians. And the Austrians signed a peace treaty with France. In mainland Europe, the coalition has ended with a French victory. But outside of the mainland Europe, the United Kingdom is still holding. What a nice day to trade! The British Royal Navy started to blockade French ports and even seize the neutral trading ships. Britain cannot interfere in the European trade. Let's form a league and embargo that bastard back. <laughs> Call the damn Navy! What a nice day. Call the Navy! Fine, fine, I signed the peace treaty. Europe's in peace, what can I do now? Well, Hanover is mine now. After the French invasion of Hanover, the British again declared war on France. Napoleon gathered his army along the English Channel. Well, the force is ready. But Emperor, can you tell me where did you get that money from? Uh, well, thank you for the land. That's how I get the money. Sir, we have some problem. Invading an island nation which has the strongest navy in the entire world 
is not easy. France started to think what to do. In the other side, Britain has something in his side. Britain can throw money at anyone who will go to war against Napoleon. And the countries were Russia, Sweden, Austria and Naples. And formed a third coalition. I am very scared. Don't worry, he is far away from here. Hey dude, Naples. Within few weeks, Napoleon reached Ulam to encounter the Austrians. He secretly encircled the Austrians and they have to surrender. More than 27,000 Austrians were captured. Or on the other side, the Imperial Russian troops has been arrived. Sir, the Franks are coming. What can we do? We can run away. Sir, you are a genius. The Russians started to fall back. And this could be a very big problem for the Emperor. I have an idea. Sir, we have a message from Napoleon. What it says? It says, Don't attack me, please. <laughs> A large Austro-Hungarian army charged towards him, thinking he was in a weak position. For Napoleon's luck, a thick fox set in. Russians did saw some weakened French flanks. They go to get them, not knowing that a large French army was emerging from the fog. The French came out victorious. This time I am gonna punish you, Austria. I am taking some of your territories. And promise me, you will never fight me again. Meanwhile, Napoleon established a new confederation. Napoleon started to plan for his next moves. And that's how we will conquer Britain. Nothing can go wrong. Sir, British are charging towards Trafalgar. Trafalgar, why? Admiral Wellness fleet is there. But I told him to sail to the Italian peninsula. He refused, sir. Yep, one of the well-known naval battles is about to happen in Trafalgar. The Royal Navy has split them up into two fleets. One was commanded by Admiral Collingwood and another was commanded by Admiral Nelson. The British Royal Navy didn't follow the traditional style of battling and literally went for their prey. The British came out victorious. What a great news! Thank you for that. Where is the person that gave me the sweet victory? Where is Nelson? He didn't make it, sir. The greatest loss for the British in Trafalgar was their greatest sailor, Nelson. But he proved that he is one of the greatest sailors in entire British history. Thank God, I have done my duty. For his last words. Trafalgar was not an easy victory for the British as well. On the other side, Emperor Napoleon was very angry after hearing the news. Because it was not his fault. And on the other side, after some weird events, Prussia joined the coalition. But without battling, they sent an ultimatum to Napoleon. To war! And Napoleon easily defeated them. And make them running. Sir, we might move to the winter quarters. Russia went for a winter attack on Napoleon. Winter and the Russian artillery devastated the French army. The French battling in winter was the worst. At the end, they got saved by their cavalry. And at the end, both sides stopped fighting until winter ends. After winter, they started battling again. French came out victorious in this battle. And the fourth coalition ended with a French victory.